Hi, I'm Travis Elliott with National Control Devices, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about Zigbee. You may have heard a lot of hype about Zigbee on our website. That's because it's probably our favorite new wireless protocol. Um, there's Zigbee, ZB Mesh, and XSC. They're all kind of new to us. They're all made for us by Digi. They all kind of look the same. They're completely different. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is Zigbee. Zigbee is a real simple point-to-point -point, uh, wireless command set where you have a modem that controls multiple wireless devices. So I can use this modem to talk to a whole bunch of different wireless devices. So it's, it's kind of a more simple breakdown than the other ones. It also actually has the best range between it and ZB Mesh. XSC is a little bit, is extremely long range, but it's pretty expensive. Zigbee is, you know, it's right in the middle. It's the easiest to use. It's got really good range. It's very, very, very reliable. So it's what I find myself recommending about 90% of the time nowadays. Now the way that this works is there's a bunch of uh, these little modules these are called Zigbee modules and there's you've got four different options on modules number one we have the one milliwatt module with internal integrated antenna like this real small antenna here uh, that's the cheapest it's also the shortest range the next step up would be to get this module with an external antenna like this the next step up from that would be a 100 milliwatt module, which is a higher, higher powered module with integrated antenna. And then the highest power option is this right here, which is a 100 milliwatt module with external antenna. This is an extra $60 uh, per piece that you buy, but we find that about you know 80% of our customers are using this setup because it's got excellent range, excellent reliability, and if you're going inside of a building and you're communicating between devices, you can't beat it. Because when you're going through obstacles such as walls, things of that nature, you want your signal as high power as possible. So this is what I find myself recommending for the most part. So that's the modules. Now the basic breakdown of how you control these things is whenever you purchase a Zigbee device, make sure you purchase a Zigbee modem. A Zigbee modem is just this real simple little controller here, this little, little board. And it's going to have a Zigbee module in it. Okay? It's also going to have a USB connector, and you're just going to click, connect that directly to your computer. If you've ever used our devices with USB, you'll know that most of them work by creating a virtual COM port. This is really easy to do. You're just going to plug this thing into our computer, you're going to download a driver, and then it'll mount up as a, vert, as a COM port on your computer and you just start talking right out that COM port. So that setup's real easy. Then on the relay end, you know, you just uh, you put your little module in the relay controller here and uh, this module talks to the module in the modem. The module in the modem tells this module what to do. It tells it turn on relays, read A to D inputs, read contact closures, you know, pretty much anything on our product line. So it's really easy to use. It's got really good distance. The speed is very good. It's really a very, very, very well-rounded wireless protocol, and I highly recommend looking into Zigbee if you're going wireless, because that's probably what I'm going to recommend to you. So that's basically our little introduction to Zigbee. We're going to do some setup videos now to show you how to get this all up and working on your computer when you get it. And hopefully you'll watch those videos and also read the articles about Zigbee on our website on our resources page. It explains a lot. And then watch these videos and you'll have a pretty good grasp on how Zigbee works and it should be relatively easy to get our devices working. So I'll look forward to seeing you in those videos and thanks for watching.